Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. It is great to have you all here as usual. So I was actually able to revert back from the experimental build, and we still had our save file, which was great, even though, you know, this is going to be a short episode. Uh, like I had mentioned before, we're going to be winding this series down. After I played that update, I am so stoked for those changes. I'm thinking we're going to come back and revisit this game once we get uh, all these updates in place. You know, the new ocean, terrain generation, custom-made islands, new building systems, and crafting, and all that. I... We're definitely going to revisit this, so I just wanted to throw that out there as a small caveat, but I also wanted to show you guys and gals just sort of the progress I had made. You know, we've been surviving for 12 days now. Yep, 12 days survived. It's uh, it's 1.40 p.m. in the afternoon. We're a little hungry. We're a little thirsty. You may notice that I'm no longer bleeding. I actually was able to repair my person up, finally found some duct tape, and was able to make a bandage. I love that, you know, you couldn't use, uh, it's like what, it takes a bandage and uh, duct tape and cloth, I love that you can't use cloth and like some twine or lashings, you know, to tie it to you. It's, it's like you gotta have the duct tape. But uh, anyways, here's some of the progress I made. Here's structure I was working on. I just thought, you know, I spent a couple days working on this and you guys didn't get to see it. So at the very least, I needed a little bit of closure to show you guys our sweet survival progress that we had made. And then, hey, we're gonna get into that uh, giveaway. We're gonna do the drawing here on screen. We're gonna pick the winner. I think it's gonna be great. We had a lot of people enter. So here's what I was working on. All right, I was uh, I was just getting things up and running. It's super messy, and uh, you know it was it was a lot of work. I'll be honest, you know, gathering sticks, getting all this stuff done is a lot of work in this game. Island hopping when all the islands are so tiny is really just a huge task. I'm sure anybody who's played the game knows, but uh, you can certainly make a lot of uh, good progress. It can just be time consuming, but uh, I, I I did a lot of chopping. A lot of palm tree murdering and made some good progress there, but, you know, like I said, this is kind of where we're going to be stopping. I had a, a basic shelter, hadn't quite finished it. Uh, let's go see, where's my hammer? We could at least, we could at least get the last bit of these walls in. Let's see here. We're going to, we're going to just put some normal walls up here. It's going to be just amazing. A little finicky sometimes, placing things, but, you know, overall, I didn't mind the building system, but then again... I haven't really had to build things complex like a lot of you uh, players of the game have, you know, where you build multi-level, uh, multi-level whatevers you want to call them, huts or buildings. <laughs> I, I certainly haven't gotten that complex with anything. This is about the about the uh, the limit of it, really. Come on now, get in there, please. I'm trying to survive here. Look at my hammer; it's ready. I like that the wall is 12 feet away, and I'm like, boom. And uh, I was surprised that this game even had working doors and whatnot. I thought that was pretty neat. So here's the shelter. You know, I didn't even want to chop the, the palm trees down on our own island. I just wanted to keep our island very islandy and uh, build a structure on there. Just enjoy all of the uh, foliage and other things around us, you know. <laughs> and hopefully this time I said foliage right, uh, not foliage, which would be hilarious. It's like aluminum foil just running the gamut of the island, making our dreams come true. So anyways, ladies and gents, like I said, I just wanted to show off what I had done, you know, I made a little bit of progress. I was actually really happy with myself with uh, how long I had survived considering this was technically my first legit playthrough and we were getting close. We were getting very close to building a raft that, well, an engine. We we were maybe halfway there, so I consider that pretty close as, as far as survival situations go. So I tell all you lovely ladies and gents what, let's go ahead and get this giveaway underway. You know, I was blown away with how many people entered this. I thought... We would have maybe 5 to 10 people, I think is what I mentioned, and we had 87 people enter in to win a copy of this game. Lots of people definitely want to give the game a try, and I think if there's any time to do it, now would be the time. Uh, get in and familiarize yourself with the current game, and that way when the updates come out, you know, you'll have a basic idea of how things work. Even if they change up a lot of things, you'll still have a basic gist of the game. I don't think the core mechanic of the game is going to change with what you can do. Um, so, you know, we got that going for us, and hopefully, whoever wins, you know, hopefully you'll enjoy the game and get your survival on. So here's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen right now the list of people. I'm going to be using a website to draw the random winner for us. You can see here, just scrolling through the list, we got a good bit of people. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get this drawing underway. And all right, the winner is the only cruiser. So congrats, my friend. I will be sending you a message uh, via YouTube. You know, uh, apparently a lot of people don't know that you can actually send private messages on YouTube. So I will be messaging you on YouTube so we can hook up on Steam and I can send you a gift copy of the game. Thank you everybody for entering. Anyways, with that being said, uh, before we close out here, let's just go say goodbye to Carl. 
Carl the Turtle. He's over on Carl Rock. Let's all, let's just give Carl a good, a good bye. Say so long to our only friend here on the island. All right, where's Carl? Where are, he should be right here on Carl Rock. Carl? Carl? Oh my God, Carl? Holy crap, I'm freaking out. Carl, did you leave? Oh my God, I'm so lonely right now. Carl was dead. Where is Carl? No. No, Carl left. Oh my God, Carl. Carl. Carl, no!